Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. Just a note before we get started, some guys have asked for scaling and this is a measuring tape in millimeters. And as I try to get that mark on the left-hand side centered, I find I can't quite get the mark on the right on screen. So my best guess is that fully zoomed in, as all these tests are, my microscope, the full screen shoots about 1.8 millimeters. Now I've put 36 hyphens on screen, which means each of those is roughly 50 microns. So I'll bring that back later in the videos for scale. While following up on the great result we just got on the Norton Crystalline Medium, we'd be remiss in our duties not to pair the Spyderco CBN 800, the heavy weight of aggression, with that Suhiro Serac stone. And indeed, we get probably one of the lowest dual grit aggression numbers so far, so one of the best. And here is the edge under the microscope. This edge has a little bit of glints of light out at the edge, indicating some bent metal. If you look at the size guides, they're probably on the order of 10 to 20 microns, those two hyphens total together being about 100 microns. Bent and damaged metal is a bit of a concern, but as we've seen in the past with CBN, sometimes it appears to be gentle enough that it doesn't spell doom for the edge in terms of performance. It just can mean a slight lessening of stability. But look at the aggression at that edge. That is a monster of an edge. More aggressive cutting character than the Norton edge. And we come in at 305 on the first pass. Now, when I am pushing the envelope of coarse aggressive cutting character, so 330, 
I don't expect to break the best records. I just hope that the edge kind of holds on with that crazy amount of aggression. I ran out of test media and had to refill there. But after a quick reload, we get through the Andy rope on the third pass with a reading of 369. So far the absolute best thing for holding aggression through these rope tests has been just a course on both sides finish. And as we freeze the frame here at 5.3, the maximum reading that we see, and take out the initial slicing aggression, we see that we still haven't quite reached that 0.7 kg or 700 grams of loss that we hit with the Norton Crystal on course. As we look at the edge here, I don't see any of those structures that caused a little bit of shine and a little bit of apparent bending to have actually bent more over, and so I'm comfortable with the stability of this. But the real question is, will we see any of those edge, any of those cutting structures sustain damage when we do the impact test of batoning into the pine piano leg. So here we go. And I would say that the loss that we observe is pretty average. It's not devastating damage. We started all the way up at 369 grams best, and here we are hitting a 411 for 42 grams of observed loss. Definitely not as good as the Cerax and crystal on stone we just saw, but as we take a look in the microscope, I don't see any catastrophic failure or damage. So overall, the performance so far is pretty good. I, I like the aggression that I'm seeing. I think if you were to implement this edge with uh, 800 grit CBN on one side and uh, stone like the Suhiro Serax 3000 grit, just kind of your fine grit Japanese water stone, I think you, you probably would need to work out a little bit of a stropping routine that cleans up and lends a little bit of stability to that edge, or you would just need to make sure that you don't do pure like impact tasks like chopping with it, uh, because I don't know that the edge stability is the absolute greatest off the stones. Here at the fourth pass, we find that this doesn't have quite the longevity of holding that keen edge that I would like it to have because we wrap up at a best score of 410, which is not bad. If you want to check out the Norton and Cerax test I've been referencing, it's on screen now. For all the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. You guys take care. Bye.